evolution of Iron Man, Tony Stark animated animation. That was a lot there. But you guys, we've been watching a lot of like scary, crazy stuff. So I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. And we're just gonna watch the evolution of Iron Man, Tony Stark. You guys may already have seen it or may know or the story and everything. But this is my Tell It Animated. They make a lot of good animation. So please go subscribe to Tell It Animated on YouTube. They got a really, really cool animation. So if you've already seen this, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Crane Kingdom and drop that big fat juicy like. Now let's get into this. The evolution of Iron Man. By let's terrorist. See. Then with the help of his cellmate, he turned a pile of scraps into an iron opportunity. This is Iron Man's evolution. Animated. To stop shrapnel from entering his heart. First of all, this is really nice. This is really well done, so big shout out to Tell It Animated. Tony equips himself with a mini arc reactor that also powers his suit. His first suit, the bulky Mark One. Oh man, look at that thing. The bulky Mark One. This guy's explaining everything, but wow. How would he even move around with that thing? That is heavy. I don't remember seeing that one because I played the Marvel Avengers game and it wasn't that. But then again, the Marvel Avengers game, when he put that suit on, it wasn't his first suit. It was just a messed up suit that he had laying around. He is mostly bulletproof and features both a flamethrower and missile launcher to defend against his captors. Plus, jet boots capable of flight to aid in his escape. Once free, Tony vows to never sell weapons again and creates the Titanium Steel Mark II. This suit Oh, wow. The Mark II was a huge upgrade. Now, guys, let me know in the comments below. Do you think Iron Man is a superhero? Or is his suit the superhero? I, I don't know what I think. I don't know if he is the superhero. Because everybody else got superpowers, but he's just got the suit. Features the Jarvis AI system. I'm online, sir. Added repulsors and Unibeam. A heads-up display and enhanced flight abilities. Although, it ices up at high altitudes. But this is fixed by adding gold alloy to the Mark III suit composition. Whoa. In addition to red coloring. Shoulder-mounted guns, kinetic micro-missiles, and additional flares. Whoa! With this update, Stark faces his former business partner turned Ironmonger. In Iron Man 2, the brighter, more streamlined Mark IV. Now, they say Mark III. Now, they're on Mark IV, but do you guys know that it's like Mark 40s? It's crazy. Now, before I said, is he a superhero? Now, his suit may make him... The, the suit may be the superhero. But his brain, his smarts, is the superhero, right? Which adds yeah. the ability to filter pee, is worn briefly, as well as the Mark V, which transforms from a suitcase into a thin-plated red and silver armor Whoa. that only has his base. Some of these suits that I'm seeing, like, we already advanced all the way to the Mark IV, and the Mark IV is, like, one of the newest ones that I've seen, so... Oh, man, this is gonna be crazy what I'm gonna see. ...and is less durable. Due to his various arc reactors apparently poisoning him, Tony, supplied with a blueprint from his deceased father, creates a new element to power his arc reactors. His next suit, the Mark VI, features silver accents and a triangular unibeam, is immune and even charged by electricity, is water-resistant, features additional grenade launchers, and has a single-use laser in this suit. Oh my gosh, that one is insane! Now, they said that the, his, this was his partner, but I feel like his partner is a super villain he or something. The death yes, he is. Whiplash. In the Avengers, Tony uses metallic bracelets to deploy the pod-shaped Mark VII, which can assemble over Tony in midair. It's much bulkier and is the first suit with its own integrated arc reactor, as well as thrusters now that was in the cool. back to free his hands during flight. Now, here's the thing. I've seen the other Marks, like Mark III, Mark IV. They look the same, but I thought those were the ones in the movies. But I know the one in the movie is the one that goes to his body like that. Multiple-use lasers and much more firepower to defend against unwanted aliens. It's also apparently capable of briefly flying into a wormhole to nuke an alien mothership. In Iron wow. Man 3, in an attempt to manage his PTSD, Tony builds many Jarvis-controlled suits referred to as the Iron Legion including the Mark 8 with added Kevlar for protection against missiles. Oh. The more refined Mark 9 with an additional jetpack. Man, we just the skipped Mark 10, which has oh added flight stabilizers for extra speed. The Mark 11 built ah. as a prototype stealth suit with a more detailed helmet. The dark and gold plated Mark 12 with- We're skipping Mark like there's no tomorrow now. What happened? Durable exoskeleton. The streamlined Mark 13 featuring a powerful rectangular arc reactor. The Mark 14, which is more lightweight for added speed. The so hold on, does each like Mark addition, like from Mark 13 to Mark 14, does Mark 13, 14 have everything that Mark 13 has? Or is it like 
Now it's just like different styles or something. Stealth suit Mark 15 that slightly camouflages itself with plates that can switch from light to dark. The Mark 16 with significant upgrades to the camouflaging system. The bulkier Okay, Mark so he just proved it. If there's something in the Mark 13, the Mark 14 has all of the others. Yeah, that would make sense. But I'm thinking like if he had all of those suits and the suits did different things, he could be like, ah, you know what? We're going into flames. Let's get this one. Ah, uh, you know what? We're going into ice. Let's get this one. But if he had all of that in one, then he just grabs the one. Mark 17 with an oversized chest to fit a powerful unibeam. The Justice Chest Heavy Mark 18, which also incorporates the camouflaging system. The uniquely colored Mark 19. Okay, okay. I, I've seen the movies. I don't ever remember a iron an Iron Man suit looking like this. This is I don't even know what number that is. Mark X one X I X I X. I don't know. Agility and speed. The black and gold Mark twenty capable of long distance travel. Oh, the that looks gold sick. The Mark twenty one built for high altitude flights. The darker Mark twenty two with snazzy red flames, possibly intended as a war machine armor for Tony's friend Rhodey. The smooth camo armored Mark twenty three capable of withstanding extreme heat. The bulky brown. This is the evolution of Iron Man, but this is the evolution of. Uh, the suit like what happened to tony stark i guess tony stark ain't doing too much besides making new suits every day the mark 24 built to endure heavy firepower oh, the mark man. 25 which boasts powerful jackhammer arms the green accented mark 26 which retains the jackhammers and is able to resist powerful elements including gamma radiation the blue and orange mark 27 what that i never seen that a day in my life blue and orange we I, i've lost them at like mark three does that mean there's gonna be like 50 Iron Man movies? The only armor able to completely camouflage into its surroundings. The heavy orange and black Mark 28, which like Mark 26, is built to withstand radiation. The durable gray Mark 29 which features a singular jackhammer arm. The sleek silver and blue Mark 30 and the updated deep red Mark 33, which both contain retractable vibranium. We are on Mark 33 and we're only halfway through. And blades and are able to transfer energy to certain ports for extra power. The lightweight teal Mark 31 able to reach high velocity speeds. The dark silver Mark 32, which oh, has an enlarged unibeam but was built to be more agile. The silver-plated Mark 34, what which incorporates a left on? claw arm. The beefy red Mark 35 that can attach not one, but two claw arms. The, the similarly plated orange and silver Mark 36 made for peacekeeping and crowd control. The light green Mark 37. They, they made a Iron Man suit for peace control in the... Okay, now they're just making suits for no reason. Built for deep underwater travel and the only armor to be stocked with torpedoes. The massive blue Mark 38 capable of lifting enormous amounts of weight. The white and black Mark 39 built for space travel. The gray... The gold one was for that, I thought. Like Mark 20. And light blue Mark 40, which can reach speeds exceeding Mach 5. And the thinly plated Mark 41, which can disassemble and reassemble mid-flight. <sighs> Huh. In the same film, after Mark inserting 41? microchips into his arms, Tony is able to don the primarily gold and lightweight Mark 42 piece by piece. This armor carries over many skills and attributes from the Iron Legion and can be piloted remotely by Tony with an AR display headset. Wow. This time around, Tony battles a vengeful former nerd with help from his many armors. Following the battle, to prove his affection to his girlfriend, Pepper Potts, he destroys all of his iron suits and then finally gets surgery to remove the shrapnel from his chest. I don't remember the this, for what? His own arc reactor. Age of Ultron features the traditionally colored Mark 43, which is infrared to see through walls and incorporates a sentry mode to assist Tony when he's not wearing it. It can also attack. Okay, so wait a second. He's not going to wear the suits anymore. He's just going to control them, which makes a lot more sense. Makes a lot more sense. There's no danger to Tony Stark anymore. The humongous Hulkbuster armor, complete with a sedative gas sprayer and hydraulic puncher to subdue a uh -huh. raging Hulk. Tony also makes use of a group of new white and blue Iron Legion drones. Finally, the predominantly red and smooth plated Mark 45 is worn. This suit Where is does he get all of this information? I could Google this for three years and not get all of this. Hexagonal chest piece, and since Jarvis became part of a humanoid super being, Hello, Tony. This suit is instead run by the Irish Friday OS. I'm online, boss. In the Mark 45, Tony helps defeat evil sentient robots, uh, which he accidentally created. 
In Captain America Civil War, the Mark 46 is introduced and features various accent lights, a trapezoidal chest piece, and the first fully retractable helmet. In this film, Tony pushes for government regulations on the Avengers, but Captain America challenges the proposal, resulting in an iron cap clash. This is, is ridiculous. Wait, I am lost right now. I'm not lost, but I'm lost because we just went through like 90,000 Iron Man suits. Iron Man or Tony Stark is not supposed to be in the suits anymore because he blew them all up, took the thing out of his chest for his girlfriend. He's safe now. And then he was going to control the uh, the Iron Man suits, right? I, I might have lost that, messed that up. But now he's saying that he's in the suit again. Makes no sense because if he doesn't have the reactor in his chest, how is he going to even do this? <gasps> and why? Is Captain America fighting the rights for the Avengers? His fighting patterns, Tony ultimately loses, and the Avengers go their separate ways. Then he changes his name to Tony Stank. In Spider-Man <laughs> Homecoming, Tony uses the more silver Mark 47, armed with launchable grappling chains and remote Wi-Fi control, to keep tabs on Peter Parker from a distance. In Infinity War, Tony lends the Hulkless Bruce Banner the Mark 48, a more streamlined Hulkbuster suit. While Tony is outfitted with a new heart-shaped arc reactor capable of deploying his sleek nanotech Mark 50. This suit can form extra wings and weapons, as well as cannons, shields, and thrusters. 48! 48! I know about 48! Mach 10 and is perfectly sealed for traveling in space. It can shoot off some of its nanotech and produce a suture spray to help heal wounds. Although, all of uh -huh. this still isn't enough to prevent Thanos from snapping away half of the universe. And in game, oh. Tony is starving and floating through space. But he's oh. brought back to Earth and then raises a family. He gifts his wife the blue and gold Mark 49 rescue armor, featuring a displacer pack that can emit energy blasts. Meanwhile, this... Tony helps figure out time travel and sports what? a gray and red quantum realm suit as he goes back in time to help get. That looks like the Ant Man suit! Their magical time but in ant-man he's traveling in time oh my gosh this is stones and says a quick hello to his father his latest iron suit the mark 85 features og gold colored thighs and shoulders with added power to generate force fields and redirect lightning blasts this suit's gauntlets are capable of holding the infinity stones that he uses to snap thanos out of existence causing tony to sacrifice his life for humanity's survival life functions prison. and, and now his girlfriend that didn't want I'm in the suit is in the suit herself. Like, what's going on? I need to watch all the movies, but I don't feel like the movies even got this far. The book ending the Iron Man MCU story. Well, until they dig him up for some prequel, sequel, side quest. Wow! Guys, that was insane. Big shout out to Tell It Animated. That was a phenomenal, like, telling it the evolution of Iron Man. That was impressive. I got lost a little bit because there were so many suits and so many things that really just didn't connect with me. Why is he putting the suit on if he destroyed the suits? And you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we've seen every single suit, right? That, there might be more suits because he was making suits every second, it seemed like. So if you guys did enjoy this and something that's not as scary, drop that like, subscribe to the Crane Kingdom, and uh, I don't have an outro. And I almost did my other outro. Peace!